First, teachers and staff have their work cut out for them as students head back to school after the long holiday break. An added concern, the flu. The virus is spreading faster than usual in Central Texas. KXA's Lauren Landman caught up today with the Hayes CISD nursing staff running through their game plan for this semester. Empty hallways now. But when the school bell rings, thousands of Texas students will return from the winter holiday with new clothes, the latest gadgets, and... Unfortunately, they're germs. As we move into January and February, we're probably going to continue to see an increase in flu. In Hayes County alone, the health department reports flu cases are 20 times higher than this time last year. If you see that you have an uptick in cases um, on your campuses, especially in certain classrooms or in general, um, make sure and contact me so that we can work with our custodial services to do deeper cleaning for those rooms or for those campuses. Nurses from every school in the district are sharing best practices at their campus. This year, younger students will learn from the older ones. Our high school health students come through and help teach with, with some of our other nurses, help teach those kids how to wash their hands appropriately. The kids love them and they really pay attention to those kids. While those in middle school are teaching themselves. The students are competing amongst themselves for the best video for what are germs and how do we prevent germs. And nurses hope parents are taking notes as well. In general, if you think that your child is sick, do not send your child to school. And if they have a fever, keep them home for at least 24 hours. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. If district leaders notice an increase in flu numbers on any campus or in a classroom, leaders say they have a plan. The district has what they call disinfectant foggers that can place uh, in the classrooms overnight to get rid of any germs. And we reached out to several other districts to see how they're responding to the flu outbreak. Austin ISD says that the health services team is working to remind students and staff about how to prevent the virus. That includes washing your hands and covering your mouth when coughing or sneezing. School officials will also keep an eye on sick calls and monitor trends. Leander ISD says that they'll continue to clean rooms as usual to minimize germs. And Maynard ISD tells KXAN they're following the CDC guidelines, which includes reminding everyone about how to stop the spread of germs.